I may have, let me say this, and I believe I find this to be true. If you live for Jesus Christ, as in trying to be obedient to his rules, I believe as you excel, as you elevate in Jesus Christ, I believe you are going to have more and more problems. I think as you grow, your problems are going to grow as well. Not saying every problem is going to be very high, but I believe there are going to be problems that are going to be high. So while living in Jesus Christ, you are going to have problems. I know for myself, as I grow in Jesus Christ, I think my faith is being tested and tested and tested and tested. And as it seems, I get tested in the area of patience, um, long suffering. I hope you all know what long suffering means. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, let me see. Long suffering. Having or showing patience in spite of troubles, especially those caused by other people. I think I get tested in that area so much. So I believe I get tested in patience, long suffering, faith. Um, what else? Probably in humility, which I believe is important. So let me give you the definition of that if you don't know what it, it is. I guess let me give you a broad definition of humility. Um, freedom from pride or arrogance. So if you know what that means. So pretty much in short, something like or almost similar to something what we may consider as a pushover in a way because if you image a pushover you may say someone who may not get angry or show anger in a very bad way someone who can take being wronged and not retaliate in a bad way. Someone who may be willing to do things for you even though you have wronged that person. I guess in short, some people may see a person like that as a pushover. And in a sense, that's kind of how you have to be. You pretty much, in a sense, have to be somewhat like a pushover. So if you really want to grow more in Jesus Christ, I used to say a particular word, or did I, that probably would be better to illustrate my point. Um, I guess be like a doormat. If that makes any sense to you.
the more you are able to handle difficult people and difficult situations, I believe you can grow more and more in Jesus Christ. I know for myself, as it seems, unless I am <laughs> the problem, it seems like I am met with more and more difficult people. Not too often, I would say, not too often, I am met with very humble people. Not too often. I think every so often, perhaps, like very, um, how can I say, it? people that are, you know, I guess, high in Jesus Christ or people who are really humble people not too often i am met with people like that i think as it seems like i am met with people who have which i have my problems too don't get me wrong but as it seems like i am met with people with some people who have this strange entitlement mentality for instance, I don't have to really do anything for you, mm -mm. but my expectations for you is this, <laughs> this, 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 this. And if you don't meet to my expectations, I have a problem with you and I think that doesn't really make sense. If you are not really doing too much for me, but expect much from me, at the same time, you feel like I should cater to you so much. I think that is some type of mind issue or some type of behavior issue or perhaps both maybe a narcissist as it seems like i believe i am met with people similar to that but i believe with dealing with people like that i think it helps me to become more patient I believe it helps me to be more loving and long-suffering and probably some more things. Not saying I am so great, not saying I do everything right, not saying I never annoy people, but as it seems, I don't think I am met with too many pleasant people. I guess when you first meet someone, I guess, you know, that meeting exchange, I guess some people can be pleasant, but after a while, you know, <laughs> stuff happen. But, um, but I believe that is on purpose. I believe God purposely places, let me say it in this way. I believe the unrighteous and righteous are going to be pretty much in the same area, same areas. And if you read in the book of Matthew, I believe the Bible says that we are the salt of the earth or something like that, and we are the light of the world. So if we are the salt and if we are the light, I believe we are here to show the unrighteous pretty much 
how to be of course we can't do it without the holy spirit but i believe we are here to show an example or to somewhat be like a guide if i am not mistaken to the unrighteous so probably one of the reasons i am met with some not everyone is difficult but with some difficult people i think it is meant to be that way, meant to be that way. Because I was thinking, or was I thinking this? Well, I am thinking now, you know, why can't I be around other people like me or better? And I don't think it is meant to be that way. Because if all the righteous people, not saying I am perfect, not saying that I am Jesus Christ, but if all the righteous people stay in one group and all the unrighteous people stay in one group, like how can the unrighteous, yes, the Holy Spirit, but I believe God uses us to win souls. I believe so. So if we stay separate, how can the unrighteous get saved? How can the unrighteous, um, what word am I looking for? How can the unrighteous see an, an example of how to live for Jesus Christ? I believe God used, still uses, I believe, teachers and prophets and probably more things too. So I believe God uses people to correct, what word is that? I guess some words escape me, but I believe God uses people to help others get on the right track to God. I truly believe it. So, if you plan on being very high in Jesus Christ, which I am surely trying to, you, I think this is true, you are going to be met with more and more difficult people. Yes. Yes, some people may say I am patient, but I still have more room, so much more room to be patient because I can see where, you know, I believe there is a boundary to my patience. But if I am supposed to be like, or become like Jesus Christ in character more and more, I need so much more patience than where I am at now. So I think difficult people will help me to be more patient, which it is so hard. Not saying I don't make mistakes, not saying I am perfect, but I hope this is making sense. If you want to grow in God, what I am finding, what I am finding, if you want to grow more in God, you need to be less of yourself. You have to be, in, in a sense, in a very uh, broad sense, I guess I can say, without giving so much details, you have to be a more loving person to people. To, yes, to difficult people, people who may seem very ignorant and uh, <laughs> some more works escaping me. Some people who may seem very ignorant and challenging. Let me put this on. I hope this is making sense to you. Because as it seems, 
some people now what i do at times with i would say most people um i back down some people may see a person who backs down as you know they are weak uh they are a pushover they are a doormat they are so less than i some people may think in that way but the way i see it i'm thinking about okay in this world we are going to reap what what we sow so if we reap what we sow i have to be careful on how i treat others Someone can steal from me, someone can scam me, someone can lie to me, hurt my feelings, burn down my house, which I don't want anyone to do that, of course. Someone can do all those things to me and I should never retaliate negatively. I should not. I should not. Because I believe what I do is going to have an effect upon what happens to me in this life. And probably in the next life as well. I hope this makes sense. So when we speak about or when I speak about spiritual growth, in a sense maybe there is so much more to spiritual growth as well but the aspect i am focusing on is being less of yourself and more like jesus christ so pretty much your behavior on this earth which i believe we are tested based upon that on this earth how we interact with others. Yes, the devil can, the devil may be able to influence this person to hurt you, that person to hurt you. The devil may attack you in your dreams. The devil may do this or that, but how are you going to react after all that is done? Are you going to begin acting like a heathen? Are you going to begin acting like you never knew God? Or are you going to stick with God no matter what happens? Not saying you aren't going to, not saying that you won't make mistakes. I believe we all are going to make mistakes. But are you going to stick with God no matter what happens? And I believe that is one of the primary, uh, how can I say this? I believe that is a very big thing in this life are you going to stick with god no matter what happens to you in this life so i hope this makes sense may god bless you